Well, the star-studded movie Monuments Men is based on the real-life story about World War II soldiers who save art from the Nazis. But this isn't just history. Yeah, even today, the Army works to protect art from war. Here's ABC's Serena Marshall. He really wanted it all. We better get it back. It was a World War II operation to recover and secure precious, irreplaceable works of art and history. All the makings of a Hollywood thriller, the plotline for Monuments Men. They get into the war. Monuments Men. Millions of works of art and cultural treasures stolen by the Nazis, and we have this group of men and women who risked their lives, two of whom were killed during combat, to go and save the great cultural treasures of Europe. Today, they're still at it. There's an awareness in this country that we really need to try to avoid destroying this kind of material when we have to go into war. In Afghanistan, beautiful, historic Buddhas were destroyed by the Taliban. And in Iraq, not only did shock and awe American bombs threaten art in Baghdad, but the gardens of Babylon were looted and art from the cradle of civilization kept at the Baghdad Museum, stolen and vandalized. I think the looters didn't see that collection as their shared cultural identity. They saw it as Saddam's personal collection. Troops are now trained using playing cards with pictures of historic sites to help increase awareness. Real life monuments men and women now protecting human history. Today, heroes on the silver screen. The monuments men also really understood that if you destroy a people's culture, then you have destroyed the foundation on which they can rebuild. In places like Libya, these monuments, men and women, were able to protect cultural heritage sites from damage by outlining no strike zones for NATO forces. But in places like Syria, Damascus is the oldest city in the world. Serious damage has already been done where protections were not put in place. Marcy, Ryan. All right, Thank Serena you so Marshall. much, Serena. So it was officers from 13 different countries mm -hmm. who were involved in this, and you can actually check out more about them and their biographies and all of that. They have a website, um, monumentsmen.com. And the story, incredible. Saved over 5 million pieces of art during World War II. Absolutely incredible.